Hey, so did you hear about the new Adobe program? Which one? Um, I think it's called Adobe 9 Professional. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for that to come out. I'm going to try to download it off this beautiful computer program called Frostwire. Don't do that. Don't you know anything about file sharing? Uh, no. What do you mean? Show me. Well, first off, downloading software through P2P file sharing should be avoided. But, if you're going to download through P2P file sharing, you should know a few things about the programs that you're downloading. First, a program like Adobe Pro will be way larger than its 3500 KB as seen here. It will be something more along the lines of a half a gigabyte. Also, notice that these files are zipped, making them potentially able to sneak past your virus, antivirus software and potentially infect your computer. You can really hide programs and other files you download? Yeah, actually you can. That's how most people get their computers infected. It's as easy sometimes as entering your email address with some of the programs you can download off the internet. Really? Yeah, actually I can, I can show you right now. This program is an example of a program that a hacker would use to log your computer. He would attach this to another exe file and put it for share on LimeWire. And by entering his email address and his password, he would receive real-time updates of your screen captures, key logs, as well as the programs and other things that you opened. Alright, now that I got this spy program all set up, I'm just going to go ahead and put it up for share on FrostWire. Alright, I don't really care. I want to download this program anyway. Alright, dude. Whatever you say. It installed, but it didn't really do anything. Now, the reason that my brother installed this program and didn't see anything load up is because Key++ is designed to run hidden in the background. It disguises itself and named as another processor application and sends emails every couple of minutes. Now, in the next screen, I'll show you what the hacker would see on his email address whenever he loads it up to look at the things that have been sent from the program that he got onto the other person's computer. Now, me, playing as a hacker, after posting this file up for download, had my brother download it. Now, as you can see here in my email address, I have pictures sent of his desktop as well as a detailed list of programs he opened and keys that he typed. Key logging is just one of the many ways a hacker can infect your computer and view files without you wanting them to and without your knowledge. I hope through this video you can see the inherent risks with P2P file sharing, and if you decide to continue to use P2P file sharing, you do so with caution. Thank you.